Let's talk about some more terms and concepts that relate to HMOs. For example, we have mentioned preventative care. This is what they stressed. It helped to reduce the overall cost of their care. And preventative care is set up for basically early detection of conditions or diseases and or you start with a well person and with preventative care, you try to keep them well so they have less claims. Keeps that cost contained. Annual physicals, mammograms, and immunizations are three of the major things that HMOs pioneered for preventative care. Cost containment, another term you hear all the time with HMOs, and it is also sometimes now applied to PPOs. We'll talk about PPOs more shortly. With cost containment being a focus on HMOs, you have to use your primary care physician, your PCP, for all referrals to specialists. That's why they sometimes call the primary care physician your gatekeeper. The reason HMOs were set up this way is patients, subscribers were used to just going off to a specialist whenever they felt like it. And maybe they didn't really need to see a specialist. Their primary care physician could perfectly well take care of them. So again, it was just a way to control costs, make sure that they weren't kind of jumping into the deep end of the pool right off the bat if they didn't need to be. Um, it helps to have uh, large claim management because they're very much um, always aware, like if you're in the hospital for an, uh, any amount of time, they're going to be watching your day-to-day -day care and make sure that you're not kept in the hospital longer than you need to be. And also make sure they don't release you too soon. They want you to be well enough to go home and, and recover there. But it's all part of that cost containment. We've already mentioned, you know, preventative care was a big part of the HMOs. Uh, and then the hospitalization alternatives like the surgical outpatient units. Almost everywhere you go now, you can utilize those where you walk in, you have your procedure, you recover, and they send you home the same day. You don't have all the added costs of hospital stays. That was a big new radical thing that every pretty much insurance company has now kind of adopted because it makes perfect sense. They always stressed high quality care, but containing the cost at the same time. One of the practices that they followed is called utilization management. And that's where, for example, you having to go through your primary care physician to get a referral to a specialist, that is called prospective review. So you've got to get that certification done by your primary care physician to make sure you really do need to see a specialist. Keeps the cost down because if you don't need to go to a specialist, they wouldn't refer you. Okay. The other type of utilization management is called concurrent review. That's when you're in the hospital. They're going to check on you. They're going to make sure that you're getting the care you need, but that you're not being held in the hospital longer than you need to, again, to keep the cost down for your hospital stay. The last type of utilization management with an HMO is called retrospective review. Retro, anything uh, that is called retro or retrospective means they're looking back. So what happens is there is a, an area uh, within the HMO, they will sit down with all of the doctors, you know, one by one, and they'll pull case files and say, okay, well, you did this, this, and this, and this was the result for this subscriber. Well, had you thought about if you had tried this procedure, but instead of this one, you inserted a, a different choice, still would have gotten them the same net result, but it would have cost less. So they're always reviewing what their doctors are doing, again, as a way of keeping them aware and mindful of the costs that are being um, accrued and to always kind of strive for that cost containment. All features of an HMO. The primary care physician, your gatekeeper. Those terms are very unique to HMOs. It describes your doctor that you go to for everything first, and then if they need to make a referral to a specialist, the gatekeeper is the, the person who is responsible for that. These primary care physicians were regularly compensated for being responsible for the care of the HMO subscribers, whether they saw you or not. So every month, they were going to get paid a fee, a per capita 
per head fee for each subscriber in the plan. The word they oftentimes use is capitation, which again means per head fee. That term always goes with an HMO because the doctors were paid every month for all the people in the HMO that they see or that are listed on the rolls. They may not even see you that month, but they're still going to get paid regardless of if you come in or not. Or if you come in 30 times in a month, they're going to get the same fee, the capitation dollar amount. An interesting feature about HMOs is what they call the service area. That is the geographic region or area where your HMO is going to be taking care of their subscribers. It is the boundaries of any particular HMO. So you have to live in the correct geographic area in order to be a member, a subscriber of that particular HMO. Let me give you an example of the geographic area. So you have to be located in the same geographic area or region that the HMO covers. Okay. There's only one exception where you would not have to see your primary care physician. And that's if you're not in your geographic area or you are, but you're so sick you can't get to your uh, primary care physician and you go to an ER. So anytime you come in through an ER, an emergency room of a hospital, that is the only exception to you not seeing your um, primary care physician. Otherwise, you'd have to go to your gatekeeper. So you're even in another state, maybe you have a car accident. They're going to take you to the closest emergency room. That's okay if you, uh, out, you're outside of your region with your HMO. You're still going to be covered. They'll figure out who owes what money later on. So remember on an exam question, the exception to the primary care physician rule is emergencies only. Here you can see the word capitation. Again, that per head uh, charge. Um, it's a fixed monthly amount that is paid per subscriber of an HMO. Of course, the HMO, if you think about it, if you're getting paid for every person, whether they come in or not, um, if you've got lower utilization, you're not actually seeing as many patients, you're still getting paid, um, the group is going to have profits because, because if they're seeing every patient every day, you know, of the whole month, the costs to do that are going to be higher. So this type of, um, uh, organization with the capitation, uh, payment, can help to lower the costs overall. And then of course the emergency care or hospital services, emergencies are the only things where you can go outside of your network or outside of your geographic area for care.